Greetings, Japan fans. Today's show, we're going to look at the interview. Maishu, arigatouzaimasu, and welcome back to the 10th year of the Leadership Japan series. 10 years, that is incredible. And I am your host in Tokyo, Dr. Greg Story, Dale Kani, Tokyo franchise owner, president of Dale Kani Tokyo Training, and three-time best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery, which is Zaegyo in Japanese, Japan Business Mastery, and Japan Presentations Mastery, or in Japanese, Anata mo Prezen Tatsujin, plus Stop Wasting Money on Training, which in Japanese is Training de Okane o Muni Suru wa Yamimashou, and all are available on Amazon. This podcast brings insights, examples, and experience about leading in Japan. Trust me, it is different here. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast with your family, friends, and colleagues. We are not being sponsored by Libsyn, but we value your privacy, which is why we have our podcast hosted by Libsyn. Unlike many other hosting organizations, Libsyn have a strict policy that does not allow access to your private information by anyone. Here is our daily podcast lineup on Apple Podcast. Mondays, the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show podcast. Tuesday, the Presentation Japan series. And every second Tuesday, the Business Tatsujin no Oishiao Show. Wednesdays, the Sales Japan series. Thursdays, the Leadership Japan series. And every second Thursday, the Business Pro Podcast Show. Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery Show podcast. Saturdays, Japan's top business interviews. This is episode number 535, 535. Today we're talking about we all need a clear interview of our team. If one of our goals as a leader is to align our team members' goals, aspirations, dreams, and desires of those of the firm, It implies we know what they're aiming for. How would we know that information? We'd gather that detail slowly over time and we would check back in occasionally to find out if things have changed or not. This cannot be an interrogation like a job interview. We take our time and do these talks over coffee, lunches, dinners and spare moments when chatting together. The flow of the talks is casual. We're trying to assemble a clear picture of this staff member. So there is a structure to how we find out more about them. The structure's simple, and the point needs to be made here that we're not doing this to better manipulate them, to squeeze more productivity from them. If that is your desire, then in today's employment market in Japan, you're going to be supremely busy. You'll be doing a lot of things by yourself, because people won't want to work with you. As mentioned, our objective is to make sure that the firm's alignment matches their own. There are different levels of understanding of our team members. The most basic are simple factual items. Where do they grow up? How many in their family? Where do they go to school? Where have they worked so far? The questioning about these personal items has to be done carefully. We don't want to come across as prime. In today's business world, this has gotten a lot easier. When I was growing up in business, the boss would never have ventured into these waters considering the information too private. Younger people today, Expect us to know more about their needs and their history. We're trying to get some context on who this person is and where they have come from. If they studied overseas in a certain country, then we can have some insight into who they are today. If they studied a certain subject, university, we can get a clearer picture of their formative educational years. If they are from a big family or an only child, then that gives more context for upbringing. They may have worked in certain industries so that, again, This will tell us more about their experiences and viewpoints. We're accumulating all of this detail slowly and casually and in no hurry to force the issues. The next level of inquiry is about the causations. Why did they choose that particular line of study? Why did they join that industry? Why did they choose that company? Why do they have that particular hobby? We're looking for their motivations to date. What has been driving them so far in their life and career? They've been making choices and taking decisions. We're trying to get down to their motives and thinking about selecting alternatives. This is a very important stage because it helps us to unravel how they think about things 
and what was driving some of their decisions. Find out more. We come back from the break. Today's show is brought to you by our public courses, but we also are doing custom in-house programs. We do these in both Japanese and English. We do them face-to-face in our super safe classroom, and we do them live online. Today's show is being brought to you by, on the 12th and 13th of October, our High Impact Presentations course in Japanese. Also on the 13th of October, we're doing our Dalkany course, the online version. On the 10th of November, we'll do a three-day Leadership Training for Managers program. And on the 16th and 17th of November, we'll do another High Impact Presentations course in Japanese. Go to our website at www.dale-carnegie.co.jp Get my best-selling books, Japan Sales Mastery, which in Japanese is Zaegyo. This is the Bible for selling in Japan. Japan Business Mastery, Japan Presentations Mastery, plus Stop Wasting Money on Training, which in Japanese is Training de Okane wo Muru ni Sunu wa Yami Mashou, and all are available on Amazon. If you like learning by watching videos, we have nearly 2,000 there for you at Tokyo Japan Balcony TV on YouTube. We release three TV shows every week on YouTube. The Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, that's the premier business show on Japan every Monday, Tokyo time. Fridays, we have the Japan Business Mastery Show. And on Sundays, we release Japan's top business interviews. Where I interview leaders from small medium enterprises all the way up to the corporate captains of industry on one topic, leading in Japan. Every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro Terebi Show. You can email me at greg.story at dalekani.com. Welcome back. For small companies in Japan, the Japanese staff have often moved around a lot. We need to know why that was the case, especially in a time when mid-career hiring wasn't so prevalent. We may have covered this off in the interview process, but maybe you weren't here when they were hired and you have inherited them from your predecessors. Often, quite a lot of information can get lost when bosses move around and the records you received may not be all that useful beyond the basics. It is a good chance to fill in a lot of blanks. Again, this will be done slowly over time rather than an interrogation when you turned up for the posting. The last level is values. Trying to align the values of the firm with their personal values requires you know your people quite well. What things are a priority for them? What things are non-negotiable? How do they weigh up their choices? What are the deal breakers? These are very deep subjects and not the type of thing you can knock over in a couple of minutes. Also, asking directly about values sounds like the boss is trying a bit too hard. The conversation has to be natural and curious, and then people will be willing to share their thoughts. These items will emerge gradually over time and shouldn't be rushed. The interesting thing is that life is not static and things we were told a few years ago may no longer be relevant. If they get married, get divorced, have kids, lose a child, have their parents pass, become ill, etc. These realities can impact their future direction for their lives. Many years ago, I caught pneumonia and spent six days in intensive care, another three weeks in hospital. If I'd been a smoker, this story wouldn't be surfacing today. That experience completely changed my thinking about life and about work. It would be the same for our people. One conversation once won't work. We need to be having these deep conversations continuously over time to make sure we are abreast of what is important to them. Without that knowledge, we cannot keep aligning there and the company's goals. Thank you for joining the Leadership Japan Series. If you found the program useful, then tell your family, friends and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast. You can contact me at greg.story at dalecone.com. Our website is www.dale-carnegie.co.jp. Until the next episode, take what you thought valuable, put it into action, because idea application is what makes winners winners. So be one of them. Remember, I'm in your corner, committed to your success here in Nippon.